Hi, this is part two of my Weiyun video, which is focused on how you can send large files to China, large meaning greater than 25 megabytes, with the support of WeChat or QQ to sign into an app called Weiyun, which is a Chinese company. Another English name to this company is called Tencent. I'm going to explain all of that, which is to focus on the inner landscape of Weiyun because there's so much you can do. You can upgrade your membership or your subscription. There's a way to do that right through your native iOS or Android. You can pay for it, um, but you can create also your own folders. You can back up your photos. Um, you can share your files freely via email, WeChat, however you want to do this. Okay, so this is a more detailed video on how to navigate within Weiyun. But if you're here to send a quick file to someone in China through WeChat or email, well, definitely check out this video uh, prior. I also linked in the description below on how to quickly send a single file without having to understand everything within Weiyun. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the video. Hi guys, in this video, I want to show you how to download Tencent Drive, which is also known as Weiyun um, in iOS. Again, they have the equivalent in Android, but I'm going to demonstrate how to do that, how to sign up, Weiyun and also how to connect Weiyun uh, and send files directly to your WeChat account contact. So let's get started. First, find your app store in iOS. And here we want to search for, instead of Tencent Drive, very important, you want to search for Weiyun and search for it. And they just made this change recently and it's very annoying. And click on the download button. While it downloads, I will say that Literally about a year ago, um, you would be searching for Tencent, but since they changed this, um, now you see the blue icon with the Chinese characters under the category productivity. The good news is the moment you open it, good news, the app is entirely in English. So let's check it out. The only screen that has Chinese for Tencent Drive is the home page. I know it's frustrating. Now, what you need to do is that you need WeChat installed prior to using Weiyun for WeChat. So if you haven't installed WeChat, please go ahead and do that. And in the description below, I've listed for you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it starting in 2019. The reason is you do have to go through more um, security questions and, and verifications before you're able to create your account for WeChat starting in 2019. Now, assume you just did that. The alternative option is, as you can see, the blue icon uh, is QQ, which is also another very popular social app, social uh, media app in China. But here I'm going to use um, WeChat, which is the green button. Let me press on that. Give it a second. When you first come in, there's all our permission screens. Again, good news, all in English. So would like to access your photo. I'm going to say yes, because I tend to upload photos and videos. You know, those are the really large files I tend to want to share. So I'm going to say, okay. And the next question is, do you want to automatically back up albums and the files that you have in um, Tencent Drive? My answer is no, because I do use uh, many other apps such as, you know, Google Drive and also Dropbox. So I don't really need to rely on this. Now you're in. So next I want to show you what you can actually upload and add to uh, Tencent Drive. You know, it's exactly the same as Dropbox and except for the difference here is you got some folder structures. So let's start with the lower left hand corner. You got your recent files and then you got your files as a second icon. And here's where you add um, folders to the content that you have. And I'll show you in a second how to add folders or how to add files directly. Let's click on the plus sign in the middle. So this is where you can act, actually add a folder. As you can see, that's one of the icons. And you also have photos and videos. As you can see, there's a an above photos and videos. You have a little icon that says 4,695. Those are the photos and videos I currently have on my phone, which is irrelevant for the point of this video, but you could literally back up everything to Weiyun. Um, most of us probably won't do that, but you can also upload files, which is a little purple icon here. You can choose the files you want to upload. Um, this is quite neat because as you can see, it's pulling up a lot of my Google spreadsheets, drives, my Google slides and such. I'm gonna cancel out of that. Go back to the plus sign again, uh, I also have Docs, and this Docs is Microsoft 365. You probably notice. You can also save voice memos. You can scan QR code. Now, let me exit out of that. 
Um, the fourth icon in the lower right hand corner, photos. Um, this is pulling in all the photos. You just gave permissions to what people can or cannot do. So there's that. And lastly, uh, me, this is my own information talking about, you know, how many photos and storage. So the last tab, again, everything is in English. It talks about um, all the free space that you can be using. And right now you can see that out of 10 gigabytes used, I have used out of 10 gigabytes, I've used 2.8 gigabytes. So beyond that, just like Apple, just like Google, Dropbox, you need to increase your storage. And um, everything else is most likely not really relevant and you don't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna click on manage storage. And here you have access to, based on the color code, you know what's taking up space. And for 10 gigabytes, for a lot of people using William for the purpose just to send larger files to China, you know what, I think 10 gig is gonna really get you a pretty long way. And uh, now, if you're thinking about how to get up to 60 worth of space, you do have the options and I'm gonna show you the different types of plans in William for those of you who want a, a need a bigger plan. Let's click on more plans. This takes a second to load up. And uh, first is what I have, 10 gigabyte of space for free. And what it says in the Chinese characters, it's forever free, basically. And now what you have is the immediate, and which is also kind of their promoted, um, promoted membership, 6 TB. That is 40 yuan, 40 RMB per month. It's actually pretty cheap. It's about five to six dollars. But you also have the other options down below. You have one TB, 200 gigabytes, 50 gigabytes, you're wondering about the exchange rate uh, in China right now. It's with US dollars is usually between you know 6.5 to 7 RMB per dollar. And you can you know make sure that depending on when you're watching the video, just do a quick look up for the exchange rate as a good habit. Now, in order to purchase, the good news is that you do not need WeChat Pay to be working for you, uh, which is amazing because as some of you guys know, in order to set up a bank account, credit cards on WeChat Pay, it's a long story. It basically requires you to have a Chinese account. You know, for me, I'm a Chinese citizen, so that's not a problem. But for my friends traveling to China, it's been a huge hassle. And uh, for people who are working there, you need a, either a short-term or a long-term permit before you can actually apply for WeChat Pay. Now, what you just saw is doesn't matter which plan you choose, the good news is that you're able to pay directly with Apple Pay, which means you can do that anywhere in North America and in Europe. So I hope you find this video helpful. 